Hey guys, today I have a quick comparison video for those wondering whether to buy the Diatone Mamba F4 or F7 stack, so I have both here. They have a pretty big price difference of um, 45 euros for the F4 versus roughly 80 euros, so almost twice the price for the F7. So the main question will be whether the F7 is worth the extra cash. So let's jump right into it and go through the extra features that the F7 has and the F4 doesn't. Let's start with the flight controllers. I think Diatone has done a good job on both of them, the F4 as well as the F7. This here is the F4, this is the F7. They come with an extra board that shows you exactly which soldering pad is what. So they match the flight controller. They have no other function apart from that. And obviously, as the name already tells, they have different chips. This one has an F4 chip. This one has an F7. So the F7 is faster. But at the moment, I think to be honest, the extra power of the F7 isn't of much use since the F4 already has enough. So, but also the F7 will be more future-proof if future versions of beta flight need more processing power. Uh, another really cool feature that the F7 has that the F4 doesn't is built-in Bluetooth. So that is really cool. You can connect uh, the Bluetooth SpeedyB app. So you can connect your smartphone and the flight controller and you'll be able to configure your beta flight through your smartphone. Of course, that can avoid bringing your laptop to the field and is very useful if you have a frame uh, where the USB isn't easily accessible. So really cool feature here. Another feature that the F7 has that the F4 doesn't is a built-in LED controller. So as you can see here on the edges, there are three extra pads here on each of the corners. And if we look at the board to see what this is, this is five volt ground LED. So this is where you hook up your LEDs and you have a extra button here that will allow you to, it's, it's this one here, that will allow you to change the color of the LEDs. So that is quite cool. If you use LEDs, of course, otherwise um, this feature isn't of much use. Another feature that is maybe a bit less exciting than Bluetooth and LEDs, but uh, that I find quite important, is that the F7 has an extra 9 volt output. So the F4 only has a 5 volt output, the F7 has 5 volts and 9 volts. And in my experience, if you're hooking up your VTX to the 9 volt, instead of directly to your battery, this greatly reduces video noise. So pretty important feature in my opinion. Both of these flight controllers do not have 32 kilohertz gyros or dual gyros, which in my opinion is a good thing because 32K just doesn't make any big real world difference in my humble opinion. I have the ESC that comes with the F4 here on the left and the one that comes with the S7 here on the right. They are both 6S capable, but there's a few differences. This one is capable of doing DSHOT 600, this one DSHOT 1200. I don't think that is too important. I don't notice much of a difference personally between DSHOT 600 and 1200. But one thing you will notice is that this one has BL Heli S and this one has BL Heli 32 software, which means that the one on the right that comes with the F7 has way more features. You have ESC telemetry, you can limit your amp draw, and there's just much more information flowing through the ESC telemetry to your flight controller that you can see and display in your RSD. The F4 doesn't have that. Also, the one that comes with the F7 is rated for 50 amps, while this one is only rated for 40 amps. So if you are going to build something that will probably have a high amp draw, like a six or seven inch setup, it will be probably more reliable and better to have this one with the higher 
amp rating. Apart from that, they are still pretty similar. They have a similar amount of capacitors on them. You can see this row here on top and the four, one here, four caps here in the bottom, none on the back. Here we have three, a bunch of extra ones here and here. That's pretty similar. They both have a current meter. There's one here and one here. So those are the ESCs. So final conclusion, I'd say if you really like the extra features like LEDs and Bluetooth and are actually using them, then the F7 is the way to go for you. Or if you have a pretty high power demanding build where we, you will need an ESC that can supply the extra amps, then it's probably better to spend the extra money on the F7. If not, if it's just a regular five inch 4S build and you're not putting in LEDs and your USB is accessible and you usually carry a laptop to the field, then there's not much reason to spend twice the money on the F7 and the F4 will still be a really good choice. So that is my conclusion on the F4 versus F7 diatone member stack. As always, I hope you find this video useful and thanks very much for watching.